how to transfer your Figma design into your Shopify store. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can go ahead and move your Shopify, how you can go ahead and transform your Figma designs into your Shopify store. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So first things first, what you need to do is you need to create an account on both Figma and on Shopify. Now Figma is a free tool, but you know, there are plans for it. So over here, you can see some of the plans, but we'll get into that later on. First things first, what we need to do is we need to make sure that you know what you are doing. So transferring your designs into your Shopify store is actually, you know, quite easy right now recently because of a new plugin called Insta plugin. So this is the plugin that I was talking about. It is called the instant plugin right here. Figma to Shopify with instant. All right. You can get the plugin for free over here. Simply click on it. It's going to open up your Figma store and your community. And over here, you can go ahead and add it into your store. So as you can see, I've already added it. So I can just simply go ahead and open it up and I can go ahead and import my files right here. So pretty simple. I'll just simply click on open the files. And once we've opened it up within the Insta files, we should be good to go. So here you have to go ahead and do a little bit of work, all right? There's no coding involved, of course, but you need to make sure that your design has been created with an overlay. If you've designed your Figma design with auto layout, right? So we'll leave it at this for now because we already have it installed. So come back over here into your design, all right? Let's say this is the design that we have, all right? So if we click on it, open it up, double click on it open up the design you need to make sure that is you know it works with auto layout so the plugin works best with auto layout so keep that in mind and also you need to make sure that you already have an account on the plugin section right here so let's go ahead and create an account on it now it is also free but there is a pricing plan which we'll get into later so first things first what we need to do is we need to create an account so click on start for free right now going to open up this tab here you can go ahead and sign up straight away and you can sign up with your username your name or your email address or you can continue with your google account so depends on you so i'm just simply going to go ahead and continue with google give it a couple of seconds to load up and we are good to go so i've already created the account so now we should be good to go so now that we've done that let's go on and move on with the video so let's go back to our store right here and let's go ahead and make sure that it is this design is made on auto layout. So we'll just select all of them. And over here, coming over here onto the right hand side, you will find the auto layout option. Here you have the option of auto layout. So click on auto layout. And there we go. So everything is now auto laid out. And of course, some of the designs are, well, of course, not working yet because this is a template. And if you have used your own design, this would not be, you know, the problem. So let me just go ahead and zoom out. So we'll just keep it over here. We'll click on this section right here or this button. And over here, I'll just remove it right here and click on the auto layout button. See how it would work. But I think it looks good. So here is the button as well. And here we can click on the auto layout button. There we go. It is now auto layout. And now we can go ahead and move the option up over here, right here. I think that's a little bit too much. But, you know, if we go ahead and click on this button, we can go ahead and include the strokes as well. But for now, I think we should move it. Let's go ahead and ungroup it. So there we go. It's now ungrouped. And I want to make sure that it's over here, right here, since we've already done that. And then over here, we can add the name of it as well. We can add a topic and whatever we want to add on the button, right? So let's say you've finished the design of your website, right? I already have a complete design over here. You can see if you click on it, uh, this is a complete design of a website, with different pages and different sections and different, you know, home pages and stuff like that. So let me just zoom in so that you can see right here. So you can see this is a whole other option right here. So over here, you can see this is the entire website. We can see it right here. It's a pretty cool option. So let's say made your own design, right? What you need to do is you need to go ahead and move it on. So now we've already created an account on the plugin. We've already created an account on Figma. Let's go ahead and shift it over to the store. So let's say this design is ready and you need to go ahead and open it up in, in the Figma plugin. To do that, uh, just simply click on the assets right here. You can see right here actually click on this option right here the figma and over here it's going to open up all the options here what you need to do is click on plugins and click on figma to shopify with instant or instant and give it a couple of seconds and there we go so now we have the option now we already have an account right so now we can just simply click on copy design 
All right, we select the layout first. So let's go ahead and select the home page desktop and then we can just simply copy the design. There we go, I think it's done. We've selected it, copied it, give it a couple of seconds, it's loading up. It's processing right here. As you can see, it's processing layers. It's, it's quite a lot of layers, so it's gonna take some time. So once it's done, we can move on to the next part of the video. So once that's done, you are good to go. So once it's copied, what you can do is go over to the instant Shopify over here, instant plugin, and click on create a new project. So click on create a new project. Here you can add your title, whatever you want. Click on create project and then select what it is that you want to create. Is it a landing page, uh, theme builders, whatever it is that you want, right? Or if you want, you can click on start empty because since we already created the design on Figma, so we're going to click on start empty. And then you can go ahead and click on connect your Shopify store. So if you already connected it, that's all well and done. But if you haven't, you can just simply go ahead and click on connect with Shopify. You can do this later as well, but I think it's best if you do it right now. So we're going to click on connect with Shopify. It's going to open up none of the tab, the plugin. We're going to click on install and install the plugin. All right, so once it's opened up, just simply click on install. Give it a couple of seconds to install the plugin. And here we go. All right, it's now successfully connected and installed into your plugin store. So now we are good to go. So now we can go ahead and start importing our design. So once we have imported the design, all we got to do is click on build from scratch or build from session or template, whatever you want. But since we already have created the design, we don't need all of that then all you got to do is just simply paste the design so i'm just simply going to click on Control v and it should paste the design it only pasted one layer which is weird i don't know what happened let me go ahead and do the exact same thing so let me just select the layers right here and do the exact same thing again all right so now that that's done we can go ahead and paste it as well so let me just go ahead and do that what is happening over here this is not supposed to happen all right, so now it's importing it and there we go. So some of the things weren't imported because of Figma auto layout. So that's what I remember when I said that you have to make sure that you run the auto layout and make sure your design that you've made is with Figma auto layout. Because if you don't, this is what happens. So now I didn't use the auto layout on all of the designs. I used the auto layout in some of it, fixed them up, but it still didn't work because, you know, I didn't use it in the beginning so that's why it's now a little bit different but yeah so we can go ahead and change some of these designs up but i don't so let's go ahead and you know you can go ahead and move it around over here you can change it up over here but once that's done all that's left for you to do is just publish it into your shopify store and to publish the theme to your shopify store all you got to do is just simply make sure to name all of the frames correctly all the layers as well and once that's done just simply click on the publish button at the top right corner and then over here enabled in shopify and what this will do is it will add a theme template in the shopify editor and then you can go ahead and enable it in the theme editor itself so it's going to open up in another tab and it's going to ask you right over here to enable the figma layout and all you have to do is just simply go ahead and install it and there you go after that you are good to go and after that you can go ahead and import your design and paste it whatever you want so pretty simple this is how you do it this is how you import design this is how you transfer designs from figma to shopify so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye